Valentino giving me suits, gangsters. That was me. And then I had the rap deal. You feel me? So niggas is envious of me on, on so many levels now looking back. After hearing them say that, it was just like, damn, my nigga. And I kept it solid with niggas. Like one thou wow. You can't never tell a story of how I stole nothing. Nothing. You feel me? Was just solid with niggas. You feel me? As some of them was solid with me. But it's like the niggas that had no bars or no game or no money. Those was the niggas, I guess, that was silently hating on the nigga. You feel me? Now he's saying, Pop didn't like you. Pop. Like that said, he sounds so stupid. The last nigga to come around to say that. Right. And I was in the car when they when we met you. Like, when did that start? Because, nigga, he didn't, you, you notice you didn't see him in nothing until after Pop died. No videos. So, I mean, playing for, playing for them niggas, man, because I, they, they sold they soul, man. Edie and Noble, you know, they fucking with the Bothamists. The people that they fucking with, Morgan Creek and all that, you know, either niggas is too dumb to know or they don't care. But, Anytime, you know, some Jewish white motherfuckers, and excuse me for all my white folks out there and all my Jews, this is not an attack against your, 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 your culture or your heritage. I'm talking about the way you attack, the way people of your culture and heritage attack the music industry and make it not fair. You know what I mean? And, and purposely make situations to put black people against each other or not against each other or not support each other and sit back and profit off of it. That's what I'm talking about. And they just happen to be a lot of Jewish motherfuckers that's in the industry that's doing this shit. Like Vlad, I hate this nigga, he's quick to put some false shit up there and quick to, you know, put the movie up there and all these motherfuckers that he's thinking is making him look better. But have you ever really just listened to that nigga voice? He sounds like a motherfucker that don't give a fuck. I mean, I've seen Lord Jamal on this show, and I cringe every time because I know he's balancing the line of wanting to break this motherfucker jaw but still trying to be cordial to hang on to whatever piece of this industry got to offer him. You feel me? I can't do that no more. Them niggas know not to get in the room with me. Ben Baller, that was the nigga that signed me to my... To, to my first solo deal. The, the jeweler who's doing all these niggas' jewels and all, the, the Korean guy. Right, yeah. Ben Baller. That was the first nigga that signed me to my solo deal. <clears throat> the reason that he doesn't, he ain't fucking with the music no more is because Cube got him fired, nigga. Got him fired from Priority. And this is a nigga that was in Brian Turner's wedding. Brian Turner was the owner of Priority. This is a nigga that was in his wedding. Got him fired. For signing me. Mm. Why, why they didn't want you to be signed? Because, I mean, because he was on priority. And I was his artist through a group. He was he didn't sign us as solo artist. Right. So by that mistake, and they picked up on it and, and got the hottest nigga, he was mad about it. You know what I mean? He felt like they'd done that under his nose. Mm. So lashing out was, nigga, you would, if y'all keep him, Y'all never get a, another Ice Cube record, and I want Ben Bet Baller fired. So instead of them dropping me after giving me all that money, they just sold my contract to, to Mercury. You know what I mean? But I said all that to say, you know, just for hanging out with Pop, it caused a lot of grief, uh, 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 you know, in my life. But it was supposed to happen because it was the right thing to do. Like, nigga ain't supposed to be jealous of another nigga and, and start not fucking with you because you hanging out with this nigga. And then when he died, instead of being there for his little nigga, you know what I mean? The nigga like I told you so. Who's the hottest niggas that ever come around Ice Cube? Caution. Nigga. Yeah. Why we ain't on no shows with the nigga? He, he on cute. I love him to death. But that nigga don't help me, bro. That nigga don't help me. I'm still in the game, nigga, because I fought and clawed and, 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 and basically, nigga, kept myself in, in an upcline with, with, with my company. You feel me? And, and niggas like Tupac, 
gave me the knowledge, the strength, and whatever happened in that situation to, to, to keep going. You feel me? But if I would have been still running on cube juice, look at the other two niggas in my group. You feel me? This ain't attributed to him. That's why I'm saying when I feel like niggas is acting like years is going past and they can start doing funny, weird shit like this movie, Tupac comes to death row. Snoop is going through a lot of shit. And listen, again, bro, I'm telling you because I know these niggas. And, and, they're, and y'all making, I mean, the public is like making conspiracy theories against Snoop. I've heard the weirdest shit. Like niggas, with, you know, I heard that the nigga had pot killed. You know, that shit is dumb as shit, bro. That, listen, man, Snoop and Pop had normal problems that normal niggas had. Them niggas was trying to figure out how to share the same space. Nigga, do you know how hard it is for two niggas with two crowns to come in one room and figure out how to coincide with each other with a nigga like Suge in the middle of it? You feel me? So these niggas was smart enough to do things like on their own, like that basketball game I'm talking about. Pop didn't play basketball. They went over there because on their own, they was hashing out their problems and sticking together on some other shit. You feel me? But Suge's never going to tell you that because he wanted them niggas not to like each other. He wanted a divided fucking situation so he could control it. Now, with the, you know, Snoop, he's a normal nigga. Come on, bro. Like, a nigga's not no bitch. So now he feels like niggas is pushing him into a corner. Of course, he's going to not be fucking with the situation. But he didn't fucking kill him. No, that shit's ridiculous, bro. Snoop did not fucking kill Pop, and he had nothing to do with that shit. I know that for 1,000% as a fact. You know what I mean? Right. Now, as far as them niggas being mad at each other when he died, nigga, that's true. But he didn't kill him. You know what I mean? Right. Period. Now, like I was saying, LT is Snoop's people. You know what I mean? That's Snoop's people. They ain't pop people. He ain't, you know, it was a divided situation. Niggas, it was certain niggas that came, you know, dads and corrupt. They fucked with pop, but mostly niggas, pop homies only fuck with pop when Snoop was over there fucking with pop in the other studio. But niggas didn't really cross game like that. And from now, looking back from what I'm hearing, motherfuckers wasn't really too fond of it, uh, of, you know, certain niggas hanging out in certain studios and you know what I mean I didn't think nothing of it then but now shit that I'm hearing niggas is feeling some type of way about that you feel me mm-hmm. but LT shouldn't have ended up with the fucking movie you know what I mean Puffy should not be investor. a silent investor in the movie the first agenda was them not trying to hold Tupac in a revolutionary life that's the first fucking problem that I have with the movie. We're going to get to the homosexuals and the homosexual agenda in hip-hop, but I just need to get that out so people understand. It's not about them making a bad movie. Like, the average person had to listen to this shit and think that, you know, the people that actually love pop is upset because they made a bad movie. It's not about them making a bad movie. It's about them trying to basically strip one of the, you know, fixtures in the black culture in, in, in my lifetime and not put him in a positive light of all he could be. Pop was way more than a rapper, bro. And they, they refused to shed light on that. Now, if he was Jewish, you know what I mean? You take a, a, a movie like, um, what's that movie about the ba- the Jewish baseball player? Mm. Bill the James or some shit. One of them, yeah. or something. This is a Jewish baseball player. They got a movie about the nigga, and you would think, you know, they won Oscars about the shit. You know what I mean? They they'll make a movie about a Jewish motherfucker that's just walking from one end of America to the to, to the next, and this shit wins every Oscar in the world. So as it comes time, you know, and that's why I say they should have got Spike Lee or somebody who's responsibly and culturally sound to make a movie for Tupac. They go out and get fucking 
LT Hutton and Benny Boom, a nigga that directs videos and let a Jewish guy write the screenplay? Mm. I mean, this is this is one of the most influential figures in our time. I mean, you just, you know, so this is, that was my problem with it. Because so, my son, now we have to do another Tupac movie and basically erase this one and do it correctly. You know what I mean? So all the colleges that have the Tupac courses, they could put this movie on as an introduction, something that actually shows him in a positive light of who he actually was and who he actually, what he was actually striving for. The nigga wasn't stri striving to be on Billboard every fucking day. He wanted the people to feel him, <clears throat> not, you know, through the music was just a jumping point, a tipping point for him. But this nigga was a big dude, man. He was, they, we got robbed. Uh, Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits.